a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mario Balotelli Mario Balotelli Barwuva is an Italian professional footballer who plays as a striker for League One club Nice and the Italy national team. He started his professional football career at Lumezzan and played for the first team twice before having an unsuccessful trial at Barcelona, and subsequently joining Internazionale in 2007. Inter manager Roberto Mancini brought Balotelli into the first team, but when Mancini left, Balotelli's disciplinary record fell away. He had a strained relationship with new manager Jose Mourinho and was suspended from Inter's first team in January 2009 after a number of disciplinary problems. With doubts over his career at Inter, former coach Roberto Mancini had since moved to Manchester City and decided to give Balotelli a fresh chance at a new club. He joined Manchester City in August 2010, where his performances and off-field activities continued to be enigmatic and unpredictable. Balotelli eventually fell out of favour with Mancini after a training ground bust-up between the two in January 2013. His departure from City and return to Italy with AC Milan followed several weeks later. After 18 months at Milan, he returned to the Premier League with Liverpool. An unsuccessful season with the Merseyside club led to his return to Milan on loan and subsequent departure on a free transfer to Nice. Balotelli earned his first cap for Italy in a friendly match against the Ivory Coast on 10 August 2010. He amassed over 30 caps and represented his country at UEFA Euro 2012, the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup and the 2014 FIFA World Cup. He helped the national side reach the final of Euro 2012, and also won a bronze medal at the Confederations Cup. Along with Antonio Cassano, he is Italy's top scorer in the UEFA European Championships, with three goals. He is also Italy's top scorer in the FIFA Confederations Cup, alongside Giuseppe Rossi and Daniele De Rossi, with two goals. Early Life Mario Balotelli was born in Palermo, Sicily as the son of Ghanaian immigrants. The family moved to Bagnolo Mella in the province of Brescia, Lombardy, when he was two. In 1993, when he was three, Balotelli was placed in foster care to the Balotelli family when his own family was unable to pay for his health care needs. His foster parents are Silvia, the Jewish daughter of Holocaust survivors, and Francesco Balotelli. They lived in the town of Concesio, Brescia, in northern Italy. At first, he stayed at the Balotellus during the weekdays, and returned to his biological parents on weekends. He later was permanently fostered by the Balotellus full-time, and adopted their surname. In June 2012, he dedicated his goals that put Italy in the final of the Euro 2012 Football Championships to his foster mother Silvia. Balotelli had to wait until his 18th birthday to request Italian citizenship, as his foster family had not adopted him. He officially gained citizenship in Concesio on 13 August 2008. After the ceremony he released the following statement, Mario has three biological siblings, Abigail, Enoch, and Angel Barwua. Enoch Barwua, two years younger than Balotelli, is also a professional footballer. Lumezan. Balotelli began his career at Lumezzan. At the age of 15 he was promoted to the first team, making his first team debut in a Serie C1 league match against Padova on 2 April 2006. Internazionale Having had an unsuccessful trial with Barcelona at the age of 15, Balotelli was signed by Inter in 2006 on loan with a preset price of €150,000 to co-own the player. In June 2007 Inter exercised the option and purchased another half for additional €190,000. On 8 November 2007, as part of Sheffield FC's 150th anniversary celebrations, Balotelli featured in a friendly between the two sides at Sheffield United's Bramall Lane. The game finished 5-2 to Inter, with Balotelli scoring twice. He made his first team in Zeria a debut on 16 December 2007, 
replacing David Suazo in a 2-0 win against Cagliari. Three days later he was featured in the starting lineup in a Coppa Italia match against Regina, scoring two goals in a 4-1 win. Balotelli gained national attention after he scored two goals against Juventus in the return leg of the Coppa Italia quarter-finals, being instrumental in a 3-2 away win for Inter. His first Serie A goal then came in April 2008 in a 2-0 away win against Atalanta. Inter went on to win the 2007-08 Serie A. Balotelli was a substitute in the 2008 Supercoppa Italiana final against Roma. He came on as a replacement for Luis Figu, scoring in the 83rd minute. Inter went on to win the final 6-5 on penalties after the match ended 2-2. In November 2008, Balotelli became the youngest Inter player to score in the Champions League when he scored a goal in a 3-3 draw against Cypriot side Anorthosis Famagusta, beating the previous record set by Obafemi Martins in an April 2009 match with Juventus where he scored Inter's only goal in a 1-1 draw. Balotelli was racially abused by Juventus fans throughout the game. This led Inter owner Massimo Moratti to say that he would have pulled the team off the pitch had he been present. The racist chants were also condemned by Juventus chairman Giovanni Coboigili and Juventus were given a one-game home fan ban because of the incident. Inter won Serie A for the fourth time in a row. In his second season with Inter, Balotelli had a number of disciplinary problems, most notably involving head coach Jose Mourinho who excluded him from the first team in the second half of January 2009. Earlier that season Mourinho had accused Balotelli of showing a lack of effort in training, stating, As far as I'm concerned, a young boy like him cannot allow himself to train less than people like Figu, Cordoba, and Zanetti. Balotelli continued to be the subject of racist chants throughout the season, becoming the focus of Juventus fans even during games not involving Inter, leading to Juventus being fined twice and the club ultimately punished with a partial stadium closure. Balotelli's disciplinary problems, and his difficult relationship with Mourinho, continued in the 2009-10 season. In November Inter drew 1-1 against Roma and Mourinho criticized his players, even going as far as saying that Balotelli came close to a zero rating. Balotelli had another negative encounter with Juventus fans in the heated Derby d'Italia encounter in an away match against Juventus on 5 December 2009, which in turn lost 2-1. When he was elbowed by Juventus midfielder Felipe Melo in the shoulder, Balotelli fell theatrically onto the pitch, for which he was booked, while Melo was sent off for a second yellow card. The incident sparked an altercation between Balotelli's teammate Thiago Motta and Juventus goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon. The tension between Balotelli and Mourinho reached its peak on the eve of the UEFA Champions League second leg against Chelsea after the young striker was not called up, following an altercation with his manager. Despite Inter's 1-0 win at Stamford Bridge, London, Balotelli was criticised by several senior players including captain Javier Zanetti and veteran defender Marco Materazzi, as well as by his own agent. In March 2010 he came under heavy criticism from fans after he publicly sported an AC Milan jersey on the Italian show Strisciola Notizia. Balotelli released a statement of apology in Inter's official website that read, after a falling out with Mourinho, Balotelli was recalled for Inter's April 2010 match against Bologna, and he marked his return with a goal in their 3-0 win. He again caused controversy in the Champions League semi-final against Barcelona on 20 April 2010 as he threw his jersey on the ground after the final whistle, in response to Inter fans who had booed him for his poor performance. He admitted three years later that the incident was the only regret in his life. Disgruntled fans confronted and tried to attack Balotelli after the game. His behavior on the pitch brought disapproval from his teammates, with Zanetti publicly saying, Mario needs to focus on doing what he can do on the pitch, he can't allow himself to behave like this. Amid these controversies with his club and manager, many Premier League teams, including Manchester United and Manchester City, indicated that they were interested in signing Balotelli in July 2010. 2010-11
After weeks of speculation, Inter reached an agreement for Balotelli's transfer to Manchester City on 12 August 2010 for €21.8 million. Euros. At Manchester City Balotelli reunited with his former boss, Roberto Mancini, who said, his style of play will suit the Premier League, and, because he is still so young there is a big chance for him to improve. He is a strong and exciting player, and City fans will enjoy watching him. Balotelli exchanged squad number with teammate Greg Cunningham so that he could continue to wear the number 45 shirt. On 19 August 2010 Balotelli came on as a substitute to score in his debut against Politnik at Timisoara in a 1-0 away win in the Europa League but during the match injured the lateral meniscus in his right knee and on 8 September underwent surgery that sidelined him until October. Balotelli eventually made his Premier League debut on 24 October as a substitute in a 3-0 home defeat to Arsenal, and made his first Premier League start on 30 October in a 2-1 away defeat to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Balotelli scored his first and second Premier League goals on 7 November in a 2-0 away win to West Brom. In the same game Balotelli received a red card for violent conduct as the result of a clash with Yusuf Milambu, which his manager Alberto Mancini described as unfair. Balotelli scored the first two of City's three goals in a 3-0 win over FC Red Bull Salzburg in Manchester City's Europa League group stage match. On 21 December 2010 Balotelli won the Golden Boy Award saying that only one of the past winners was slightly better than he was Lionel Messi. He also claimed not to know of Arsenal's Jack Wilshere, the player he narrowly beat to the award. On 28 December 2010 Balotelli scored his first Premier League hat-trick in a 4-0 win over Aston Villa. Despite this success Balotelli still had disciplinary problems and in March 2011 he was sent off in the second leg of Manchester City's Europa League draw with Dynamo Kiev. On 14 May 2011 Balotelli was man of the match in the 2011 FA Cup final as Manchester City defeated Stoke City 1-0 to win their first trophy in 35 years. 2011-12 Balotelli scored his first goal of the 2011-12 campaign in a 2-0 League Cup win against Birmingham City. He followed this up with the opening goal against Everton three days later. On 1 October 2011 he scored his third goal in as many games in a 4-0 win away to Blackburn Rovers. Balotelli scored the opening two goals and forced the dismissal of Johnny Evans as City beat Manchester United 6-1 at Old Trafford on 23 October 2011 in what would prove to be a decisive game in helping win Manchester City the league title. Balotelli made his Champions League debut for City on 2 November 2011. In the second leg against Villarreal, he scored on a penalty shot near the end of the first half his first Champions League goal for City and his seventh goal overall in the season. On 27 November, Balotelli came on as a 65th-minute substitute against Liverpool and was sent off after receiving two yellow cards. Balotelli scored using his right shoulder in City's 5-1 win over Norwich City on 3 December. He put City 1-0 up against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge after just two minutes on 12 December, although Chelsea rallied to win 2-1. On the 22nd of January 2012, Balotelli came on as a substitute during a match against Tottenham Hotspur. He appeared to stamp on Scott Parker during the match against Tottenham, but, already booked, did not get a second yellow from referee Howard Webb, who did not see the incident. Balotelli subsequently scored his first goal of 2012, an injury time penalty which secured a 3-2 win for City. He was charged for violent conduct for the kick against Scott Parker and was suspended for four matches, three for violent conduct and one for his second sending off. On 25 February, he scored his 10th league goal of the season in a 3-0 home win against Blackburn Rovers. He scored again the following game in a 2-0 win against Bolton Wanderers. On 31 March, Balotelli scored twice as City drew 3-3 at home against Sunderland. However, Balotelli was criticised for his actions in the match after squabbling with Alexander Kolarov over a free kick. Roberto Mancini claimed after the game that he had considered substituting Balotelli just five minutes into the match. On 8 April 2012, Balotelli received his fourth red card of the season, 
After receiving his second yellow card during the match, for a tackle against Bukhari Sanya during City's 1-0 loss to Arsenal in April 2012, he was banned for three games. After the Arsenal match, Mancini appeared to have finally lost his patience with Balotelli, suggesting that Balotelli would not play any part in the remainder of City's season and be sold by the club. Despite this, Balotelli did make an appearance as a late substitute in the last game of the season, a title-deciding match against Queen's Park Rangers. Balotelli provided the assist to striker Sergio Aguero, who scored in the 94th minute to give City their first league title since 1968. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?